Brittany Bryant's son waited here at this bus stop for nearly two hours for a bus that never showed up. Bryant says this happened twice in two weeks. In both situations, she says there was nothing listed on DCPS's bus delay website and she was not notified. That's really scary. We have minors that are sitting outside with no supervision. So many things could happen and you have no idea where your child is. Across town, another mother is dealing with DCPS transportation issues. For Vanessa Vasquez, the bus shows up, but she wonders if it's safe. A video her eighth grade son took just last Thursday shows three students to a seat, some standing in the walkway. Oh, it's not safe, and if they got a car accident, you got so many kids on there, three to a seat. I mean, if there was a car accident to happen, all those students are getting hurt, he's getting hurt. I took these concerns to DCPS and asked what parents should do if the bus doesn't show up and how many bus driver vacancies does the district have. I have not received an answer to those questions at this time. I also asked how the bus delay website is updated. The district provided no answer at this time. Bryant says improving communication is something she wants to see from the district. It all comes down to the company that the district hires. Um, there is no communication whether a bus is coming or not. And the, the biggest issue that I have is not only is it not safe for each kid to be out there left alone for whoever knows how long, um, but they're also missing education. They're missing school. On Tuesday, during student pickups, over 100 bus delays were listed on the district's website. Reporting in Jacksonville, Tia Collins, First Coast News, on your side.